I think you'll find I can take care of mine. Bart. Oh, no. What? Wait, what? We need to call the park first aid. I'm the park first aid. Oh. <gasps> what? Barney. He's fine. Always a kidder. <laughs> right, Rumi? Is the plot that Barney dies? Is that what the, the f died? Are we about to get ghost Barney? <laughs> That's so f Welcome to Hester Brothers Cartoon Theater, everybody! We are the Hester Brothers, and we are here for more Dead End Paranormal wow. Park. Lucas, I do want to say really quickly, we've been back and forth about the graphic novels. Dead End Paranormal Park comes from Dead Endia, which Hamish Steele wrote. I can say for sure that they are available for pre-order right now. We'll put that link in the description, and they're going to be available on May 2nd of 2023. I know a lot of uh, the people in the comment section were waiting when they could get their hands on those books. It's almost here. They're being reprinted. They Thank you, Hamish Steele, for sharing that. They mentioned it in their interview with us briefly, but nice to get the confirmation. I guess that we can get right into it. Um... We need a comment thing. I just got back from Iceland on my honeymoon, and it was absolutely beautiful. Subscribe, because that's awesome. Is that good? <laughs> comment because Alex a privileged piece of <laughs> also, uh, leave a comment where you most want to travel in the world. Episode 8, let's do it. Cool. Mmm, uh, that Netflix logo! Copyright's been cool, so Netflix logo I support. That's right. Oh, uh, the episode title is The Other oh, yeah. Side. Lucas, oh. any predictions? It's pretty obvious. Come on, The Other Side, it's pretty obvious. They're just gonna go with White of the Chicken Cross the Road. Okay, it's obviously just a setup for a pun. Clearly, clearly. I mean, obviously with all of the horror themes and all of the, like, themes around death and dead end, chicken crossing the road pun. Yeah, there's uh, no other way around it. Uh, yeah. You know, I can't imagine that it could be another dimension or anything of that nature. No, 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 so. no. Yeah. yeah, there's no reason to even give another theory. That's just the right answer. Honestly, we should just stop watching the video right now. Norma gone, I'm putting me in charge. Thank you, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> We're so doomed. We're not doomed. Uh, Barney's uh, going to be a great leader. No, I think they are doomed. doing anything, like, hard, right? Like, no demon stuff or anything, right? Right? <laughs> don't Again, be great character. Great like, face, yeah. All the rest I of like the experience the I've been getting makes me the ideal candidate to be in charge. Loads Do you think that's true? The week on my no. When? I mean, who would you put in charge? Right? You know, um... I, uh, well, of these uh, people. There was that one. Nope. Probably no, logs, but none Look, of them are never great. Mind. Logs. See, I thought Vodya maybe. And cuteness. <laughs> Courtney. Vodya would have my problem. You know, you're too you're nice. Saying, really hard to lay the hammer down. Pugsy mm. <laughs> with your magic. And what about? I think Norma might overthink it. Well, I think you'll find I can take care of my Bart. Oh no! What? Wait. What? Barney! We need to call the park first aid. I'm the park first aid. Oh. <gasps> what? Barney. He's fine. Always a kidder. <laughs> right, Rumi? Is the plot that Barney dies? Is that what the, the fuck? other side? Are we about to get ghost Barney? <laughs> What the shit? <laughs> Barney. <laughs> Aw, there, there. Thanks, Barney. That's so fucked up! Barney? Barney, I missed you! Whoa. This is so I really wild. Woo! I admit I was for a second, but it's cool. Barney's just a ghost. What? How is that cool? This is not good. Don't worry. If I'm here, there must still be a chance to fix this. How are you not freaking out? Honestly, that's I a good point. This isn't as shocking the second time. Second time? 
<laughs> True. Oh yeah, that's right, because it happened in the game show uh, episode, season one. Wow, that's an interesting perspective. I like that. It's not okay, Barney. You're dead. Dude, I'd be logs too. I'd be crying oh, my face yeah. off. I almost started crying when I saw that. I was like, no, he's not. What? I've got it. Dude. Norma's book says here we need a seance kit. Logs, I need you to go to Norma's and get it from her. Baja, I like how they didn't quit. pull the punch Whatever on that reason, death. I want to give her space and not bother her. Okay, fine. Wait a minute. Why can't you go? I, uh... This is what Logs was dealing with when Plus, he went I to Norma. Falling to chandeliers are America's silent killers, Mrs. Khan. I thought they'd be pretty loud. What are you doing here? Wait, have you been crying? Nope. He's That's not right! Bad. And... And he didn't tell her? Look at how composed he had to have been! No. That's incredible! Dude, I completely forgot how the last one ended because we recorded it prior to my honeymoon and it's yeah. been a while. And you're right, so we are now getting the, will get me the back second version mind. of what ha right. was happening. Mm, no idea. It just seemed like they'd make Logs feel better to have something to do. Look, don't panic. We've covered ghosts on oh, the podcast. No. Hey, we should have you on as a guest. <laughs> Sorry. I Talk mean, to a real ghost. Ghosts are the results of unexpected deaths. Dude, Your honestly, if there are any ghosts out there, hit us up. Yay. I knew We'd interview you. Would pay off. We have to avoid you spiraling Probably. into bad thoughts or you cool. lose all attachment to your body. I'm still Barney, the living human. Oh. Oh no, he's already getting worse. Am I? <laughs> I'm just doing a little float. Nothing to worry about. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. I don't care what it is. Just Dude, this is intense. Him. Guys, don't worry about it. It must be a seasonal thing. Look, a resurrection a spell. Seasonal thing. Always a killer it's a at season. parties. Especially funerals. Give me that. Like huh. catching a cold. That was pretty funny. Do it, Pugsley. This Here we go. so dark. Ah, All of it. Like George Romero. It didn't work. It didn't. This is so tragic. What the hell, man? Wait a minute. What were the other ghosts at the end of that scene? Because when I was editing, that was his body. That was Barney's body moving. Dead. See. I think. I think you're right. Oh, I love the imagery. Here. Going through. I think we might spot. Oh, that's exactly who I was just wondering about. Yeah, the Arnie, ones at the end. I'm sorry, I didn't master the art of necromancy. Oh, where did he go? Oh man. Wait up, oh man. my gosh! Body is oh! That could mean that. Great. Oh, oh nice. You did it, Yo. Good as new. We're ghosts. Of course we scared you. Henrietta, please lighten up. Oh you. That was silly. <laughs> Anyway, hello, I'm Jules. My pronouns are they, them, and the late. <laughs> Little, uh, ghost. And the late. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. I not in the oh, mood. Oh, that was funny. I'm Chester. Hope we didn't startle you, sport. You haven't been watching me this whole time, have you? <laughs> Dude, I've wondered my that whole thing. And I mostly haunt the hall of ex-husbands. You may recognize me as one of Pauline's divorced spouses. Oh! Famous Tiger Dennis turned celebrity stay at home husband Chester Phoenix. Oh. One and only true love of Pauline's life. Yo. Can you imagine being a ghost and realizing that you were forgotten? The and you point didn't think is, you were? we came over to guide Dude, you hunting the Hall of Ex Husbands Greeting as one of them, that's rough. Yes, the famous Especially if you're one of the first. Of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance looks like i don't actually subscribe to that in no time with the help of my friends, if your process of grief doesn't friend, work that way that's okay alone here sport that's sometimes things are not linear i'm sure they're upstairs doing everything they can to help me <laughs> what do you call this <laughs> barney see you guys i told you this wasn't him See you guys, everything's fine. I like how comedic I this is turning I out, know, considering how like pranking us. 
crazy intense this start. The bones is me? Ah! First she showed no faith in me the moment I even see just being in charge. I mean, no one ever questioned Norma. Oh, Barney. Yo, you get ghost powers? Right? Ooh, long word. That's what I'm saying. Because I felt like this was the concern about Barty as a leader. Would be very capable, but takes it very, very seriously and has a hard time relinquishing the control. Yeah. Or wants to be respected. Stage two. Anger. Oh, that's fun. I like this. Yeah. This is a good structure. Barney? Guys? I'm sorry. It was an accident. I... Guys? Whoa. Guys, come on. I'm sorry. I oh, didn't I mean to... <gasps> Rude. Hello? Oh, no. Courtney? Huxley? Oh, he's passing oh. on! Wait a minute. Guys? The fifth stage is acceptance. Aw, oh, poor guy. Looks like they've already moved on. They don't even want to see or hear you anymore. You're one of us now. Congrats. No, no, no. I just need to talk to them. All right, guys. Uh -oh. Log should be back with the seance kit any minute. Is... We must find Barney before he starts spiraling further. Maybe we should split up? That makes Don't sense. Don't see how anything bad could happen there. Okay, I'll check the library. Pugs, you check the tower. Courtney, you check the kitchen. Zombie <laughs> Barney, you... I love how they animated that. Like yes. I love this episode, Never. dude. This is so creepy. Never split up. Please, I'm begging you guys. I'll do anything if you can help me talk to them. Bargaining. There Bargaining. are other ways to communicate with them. But... Can we trust these people? I don't know I, at this point. These ghosts? These past pull? As opposed to pre pull? As far as we know, they've got no incentive oh, to do anything conniving, but Badia. I mean, Roger? they have no incentive to Roger? help either, though. It's not working. She can't hear True. me. Let right. me try. Also, you know what's interesting is these three ghosts look like they're in three different forms themselves. <laughs> totally right. And this is cool because this is totally what, like... You would think, oh, what are these sounds in my headphones? Like, very ghost hunters. Yeah. And they're all just like, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, hello, hello, excuse yeah. me. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn it. I just wanted you to turn up the heat. <laughs> Courtney's gonna have the best reactions to everything. Barney, is that you? Oh! You turn into a piece of charred wood. <laughs> you turn Pugsley into a piece of charred wood. <laughs> Barney's like, could you ask some better questions? Barney's like, I'm actually gonna write out this whole. Wow. Barney. There's no way I'm reading all of that. <laughs> hey, quit! Oh, oh, oh. This isn't working. Nothing's working. Oh my gosh, that's so funny! She just give up. Assemblance for a moment that Courtney cares. Nice. My favorite. See what? My favorite? No, ghosts. My favorite's bargaining. Coochie? Is that you? Oh. What are you doing here? Fingers, huh. you're still here? Barney maybe sort of died and you said it's a dog's duty to protect their owner, but now he's a poultry geese and I don't know what to do. Oh. A, a calm yourself, little pop. All you have to do is, is perform a spell of life. We what if Fingers, fingers yeah. lowered the chandelier? Just you think Fingers not Whoa, conspiracies going on here. It's a spell so powerful, you're going to need all of your friends' energy to perform it. Consider this your final lesson. You must do something for me. He did say he needed to I'll speed do up the... anything to save my I think you're right. Pugsley, now Pugsley's desperate. Oh, so this is a Oh man. Oh my god, I think you're right. I think Fingers just baited him into this. Oh my god, what Any a like villainy villainous ghost? thing to do. Oh. oh 
I love that thing. Wow. I still can't see him. He used to get like this sometimes on his darkest nights with the things he would oh, say no. about himself. If we don't do something, he'll he'll <laughs> What's the point? Oh. Maybe no. they'd all hurt if I was gone. No. We can help. No, I knew it. See? The three ghosts have three different shapes. There's one that's a little bit more human, there's one that's a little more ghostly, and then there's the just straight up orb. Now he looks more like the second one. I don't blame them. Never stop any of the monsters. Accept your fate. You know Oh my god. They're criticizing this structure. I love it. I don't wanna accept this. I wanna go home. Like, yeah! Home, home. Back before all this demon stuff, back before I kept dying. Join us. Embrace us. Become the late Barney Gutman. Catchy. You're no. Wait. That's not. No, this pain. Will but none of them have gone. passed on. They're not even resting. Why are they doing this? Not from this. What if Fingers made a deal with them too? I accept. No. Oh, no! I did it! Logs to the rescue! Oh no. Logs! <laughs> Good reaction. Uh, the way that they wove this, the last episode into this one is really brilliant, watching it all the way through. Yeah. Yeah, incense. This is how I summon ghosts. We'll all go with you. To make it, uh, less scary. You... Do you that? For me? Of course! What are friends for? What is their motive? Ah! Uh, are they part of the angel thing? Well, I was thinking, what if fingers like got them off or something? Yeah. It could be. Okay, fingers. You got my this conspiracy brain going now. I think this is all orchestrated. Look at that! Barney, 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 what, was what that? Fingers wants, though, is for Barney to. I didn't hear anything. Just the well, I guess we don't know if I Fingers cares Barney. whether or not Barney survives or not. Lost yeah, back. he just wants Pugsley to try the crazy like spell. Which... Oh my gosh, that's so cute! They did the seance and it worked! I love how they worked! I the, really the structure. love that too. Oh, maybe they were trying themselves to pass on, and they needed someone else who could. Oh, that's a little heartbreaking. Let me go! Why don't you go through your own portal? You can't. We have way too much unfinished business. That's it. We've been trying for years to get rid of it and open our own portals. But you. Yep. Oh. Yep. to let go of everything. Okay, my conspiracy brain was crazy. Together. This is a lesson Don't to everyone. You want to help a family I made, who's always been there for me. Come on, yeah. Huxley. Yeah, this has to grief work. is non-linear. That's I right. This. Damn it! I, I knew the lesson was gonna get there. Too. I was gonna I say, I'm like, there's no way. Uh, did I miss anything? We Let's need go. Help. We need help. Norma is. Yeah. Active. I can't seem to stay away. Whoa. Whoa! That was so cool. I love how this. I love how that was animated. I love how Barney. that was paced. Never do that again. Uh. All right, my turn. <laughs> oh, this was such a good episode. I hate the living. Chester. Oh my gosh. What are you doing down. here? Pauline? Is that you? How did they never run into each other? I knew you'd come back for me. You were my unfinished business. And oh. maybe I was yours? Oh no. No. Oh, Chester. No. Oh no. Look, my portal. It's happening. Well, at least 
that's closure for him. Shall we? Rough stuff, what? bud. Sorry, darling. Oh it's yeah, no way. Much. What? No way! <laughs> Dang it! Ah! Whoa! Hey! What? Huh? Why don't you no. take a picture? Oh yeah, Pauline's trapped in a doll now. I oh, that's right. They didn't know. In my house. Please! Huh? It's no <laughs> redemption story stuck in some weird girl's attic. I smelt asbestos. That's a good point. Now. Excellent job, Pugsley. I wasn't sure oh, he was strong enough to perform Wait, that was spell, he just clapping? You passed yeah. with flying colors. And all it took was He was to talking though. I have questions. Stopped. What are you saying? Yes. You the chandelier? Yes. <laughs> Got it. I foresaw it. And I thought it would make for a nice test. And I couldn't be prouder. Now for no. your end of the deal. What? Pugsley, Dude, the last two episodes were about to be just wild. That's right. Pugsley? Ah! Graduation. They're all no. so excited to meet you. Papa Zagata, Sappho's Aleo Nomo Tarty Knox. Let's go, Pugsley. Sneaky okay. shit. Pugsley, no! Pugsley! No! Damn! What Finger is this episode? Taking him. Fingers I showed his whole ass. To level four. Then so are we not. Oh man, let's go! Are you still uh, on the- Fingers showed his whole ass. The way he was all sitting in the elevator, I was like, oh wait, yes, that's kind of true. No, no, dude, it's an, ex it's an expression. He showed his true colors, his villainy. Oh. We know for a I've fact- I've never heard of that. That sounds like an old thing. To be honest, I don't keep up with very young terms. You were saying like, hey, we finally saw him disconnected. That was his ass. He was all contorted in the- <laughs> in the- <laughs> I'm sorry, I took this the wrong way. What an episode. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, it feels like that literally is launching us into, like, this grand finale. Like, I almost feel like we're about to be in a two-part finale. Just win up the elevator. We have two episodes left. Like, I'm sure that this is going to be plot dense and- I mean, okay, Barney's died. A. Yeah. That happened. Seeing logs cry over Barney's actually dead corpse was legitimately, like, they wanted to soak in that Barney had in fact died and that you were seeing the gravity of that, and I love that they made that decision. I think that made this, like, one of the best episodes for sure. I think this might be the best episode of the show so far. I uh, think this might technically, yeah, be the best episode. I want to revisit the leadership discussion really quickly because I, I've been thinking about it from the beginning. Who would be the strongest leader? Tell us in the comments who you think the strongest yeah. leader normally would be. I do think that Norma's probably the strongest leader because she's showed us, right? We've seen it in the show. I think that what we get from these four characters is that all of them would be flawed leaders because every person would be a flawed leader. Everybody has something about themselves that would make it tough. I think all four of them under the right circumstances could excel in it as well. It's a matter of do they want to. Well, under the right circumstances is really the thing, because in my leadership classes, well, pretty much the things that we learned about being a good leader is being, like, versatile and being able to adapt to a lot of different strategies, like having lots of different leadership styles. Unless you're cultivating a general artistic interest in various leadership styles, which I doubt anyone on the planet actually is, different people have different leadership styles that are different for different things, or good for different things. So for the specific context of death, that end. Then, who is the best leader outside of Norma? So my feeling is that it's a leadership team because they each have the qualities that they bring together and I think that they are all leaders, every single one of them. What a bull answer. <laughs> no, I'm just I, kidding. I, I know it though, right? I know you do. Logs, he might be a little bit lazy of a leader, but he is extremely emotionally in tune with the people around him. Barney is definitely going to take it too seriously and take it personally when people don't love the leadership style, but would absolutely be able to get the job done and steer the ship the right way. We're just ruling out Pugsley and Courtney, right? Well, <laughs> Badia, I could see being interested in stepping in the role and then getting into it and realizing, yeah. actually, I don't enjoy this, even though I think she would have the skill set to do very well. 
Vanya would do the, the best because of exactly what you just said. She'd recognize how much help she'd need. Yeah. And she would, like, very much employ everyone to kind of, like you were saying, effectively be their own leaders. All right, everybody, uh, like and subscribe for the philosophy Whoa. of leadership styles. Uh, I wish I we could talk more about this. Like, yeah. I, I feel like you and I could get talking and really, really go on a tangent. This is actually something, a paper I would have written for a liberal arts degree. Using Dead End Paranormal Park to discuss leadership roles in a modern theme park oh. setting. Literally the most niche essays on the planet that are designed for the academic echo chamber. Good God. All right. Well, we've talked far too long. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We will see you all next time for episode nine, maybe a part Dude. one of a finale, kind of. We'll I see. feel bad that, like, the best episode we've covered so far was this weird discussion at the end. But hey, here we are. Talk to y'all later. Bye.